you guys, this is my third time attempting to film this. This is annoying. Um, hopefully this doesn't turn out as messy as my bed is right now. Uh, but I thought I would do the shaker card tutorial. Basically, I've been really ill and tired and just things kept coming up. I know I'm full of excuses. Sorry about the shaky camera and the messy bed. Um, I'm going to turn that over because it has my address on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so last time Sparky sent me mail, they requested that I do a shake card tutorial and I thought what better way to do that tutorial than to reply to them, but I completely forgot to do the tutorial because I'm an idiot and I forgot to actually reply with a shake card. So, um, not sure if I've already mentioned this in this third version, but the idea behind it is a shake card that does, um, that uses the goodies as the shaker bit instead of glitter or sequins or whatever. So what you will need are these circular die cut cards or any cards. Um, I use mine from the works because you get like a thick ass pack. I don't know how many were in this. I think there are about 10 cards. Um, those are only two pounds, but um, you can use any card and just cut your own shape. I've done heart shaped ones, squares, but this is just the easiest way and then you need a piece of cellophane you could use laminate pockets poly pockets um anything that's see-through that you can stick down so basically i'll show you how i do it but i can't film it because my tripod's being an ass and kept falling over so i open up the card bam totally not an absolute mess in this video as usual and then I get this cellophane and I stick it down. I'll put a ring of glue over this and stick down the cellophane. Um, so I will do that now. So, as you can see, I have glued directly onto the card around the circle and then put this down so it creates this window. Um, and I'm going to now trim the excess off. Um, so now we have this perfect window and you want to make sure that there are no gaps otherwise the stickers will fall out of the front um, and now I'm going to get a backing sheet I'm going to use this cute one um, and you want to put it like this so it will hide the cellophane and create what you'll see on a lot of shaker cards which is this backing however we will only be gluing down Three sides you want an opening on one side so it creates a pocket I am going to be trimming this down so it is small enough to put washi tape on so you can open it but large enough that it covers the circle okay so now I have cut this down I cut um, that usual sheet pad down that you can get um, it's just the average size pad basically um, by about a centimeter and a half on each side I'm going to sticky tape it down as well um, obviously glue on the colorful side um, I'm going to sticky tape it down on these three sides just to secure it and then I will show you what we do next now that we can trust that stickers will only be coming out of the top of this pocket as you can see it is a pocket I will be selecting stickers from my collections uh, these are all singular stickers and these are all my pouches and sheets so um, yeah I'm gonna choose some stickers so now that we have a whole selection of stickers for my sticker pot please go back in oh no oh no dog down dog down oh no okay cool <laughs> Okay, now we have a selection of stickers, we can put them inside the pocket. I tend to use a range of bigger stickers because I have more big stickers, uh, because I'm addicted to them, and also small stickers. They are more likely to shake better if they are smaller, and the more puffy, the thicker the pocket will be. So I'm using a range just so that I can give good stickers, and also some that will move around more. But because of the uh, static, if anyone has... Um, 
like a recommendation on how I can get the static off um and because of the tightness of the pocket because I haven't used like 3d tape um they are going to shake less than if you were to make the pocket more 3d so I've put them in the pocket I've made sure that they're all front facing because otherwise um it will look a bit sad um and then I just shake them around a little oops <laughs> um and maybe even like put my hand in there or get a piece of paper just to shuffle them around a bit more to make it more aesthetically pleasing when I put it in the envelope top tip don't do what I do and gather them all up put them in one by one so then they will not cluster and get stuck um then off camera I've just added some washi tape so that they can remove it and open it up to reveal the stickers because otherwise they will fall out everywhere and become more confetti so um that's the finished shaker I'm going to decorate it put some stickers on maybe here um just so it's a bit less blank on the outside but I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that it helps those who have asked and um yeah sorry for the spoiler sparky <laughs> love you guys um and i hope you have a good day <gasps> goodbye